Country Thunder gets underway tomorrow yeah. in Florence and traffic was already heavy today as people in RVs drove down to claim their camping spots yeah. for the weekend. It's a big thing. Yeah, this is a thing. So Frankie McClister went down to find out how the music festival impacts all those businesses. Hey, we got On the eve of day one of Country Thunder, traffic rolls into the town of Florence, a town of little over 27,000 people. And Donna Brito has lived here for seven years and says that it's go time. Money-wise, you know, income for the town, it's great. But if you're trying to get from one place to another, it's probably not so great. So, you know, I mean, take one or the other. I think we'd rather take the income. Well, the Pinal Food Market is a local business right here in town, and they said that the weekend of Country Thunder, they are just nonstop. And in fact, to be exact, they make nearly 20% more than their average normal revenue, which obviously they missed out on last year. Be careful out there. Sam Kasha has owned Pinal Food Market since 2006, and he says that they've already seen some people pouring into his store. But tomorrow through Sunday are those big days. So how do he and other businesses prepare? We do a lot of shopping, we get prepared. We know exactly what we need because it's happened every year, so we know exactly what people want. So we are prepared, we go get a lot of stuff. We get uh, more deliveries. More deliveries to cater the many concert goers. Cowboy boots and short skirts and short shorts, you know. They buy almost everything. They buy like for breakfast, they buy like uh, bacon, sausages and bread. Uh, some people buy liquor and beer. 